calculating interest on capital. Let's see another problem. A and B are partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So we have A, we have B. The profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 2. Their capital as on March 31, 2012 on closing before interest on capital was 200,000 and 150,000. So the closing capital is 200,000 and 150,000. Closing capital. Note this word closing very carefully because this is important. They made drawings of 30,000 and 20,000 respectively during the financial year. Sorry. The drawings done by two of them are 30,000 and 20,000 respectively. The profits for the year were 50,000. Okay. Profits. I don't know how much pertains to whom. Compute interest on capital at the rate of 11%. Now one of the interesting things that you would have noted is that the closing capital is given, right? Now I don't know what is the opening capital, but my interest on capital has to be allowed on opening capital, right? So the first thing I need to do is I need to compute what is my opening capital. Now, as you move on, normally what, what is the way it works? You have opening capital. To the opening capital, you subtract drawings. Right? Then you add the profits if they are positive. And after doing this, what do you get? You get the closing capital. Right? But in my case, the situation is a little different. I know this, I know this, and I know this, but I don't know this. Right? But isn't it easy? I mean, we've done this in some of the junior classes for maths. If I know these three variables, I can easily find out the fourth one. Right? So my opening capital will be equal to what? It will be closing capital which is this, plus as this drawing moves to the other side, the sign changes, drawings, minus, profits, okay. So let us do one thing, let's also compute how much are profits which are applicable to each one of them. So their profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 2, so A will get what? 3, B will get 2. Some of these two is what? 5. So, 3 fifth of 50,000, which is 30,000 for A, and 2 fifth of 50,000, which is 20,000 for B. Right? So, A, B, closing capital given 200,000, 150,000 plus drawings. This is 30,000 and 20,000, right? Minus profits, minus profits, 30,000, 20,000. This will give us what? Opening capital. Interestingly, the opening and the closing capital now comes same because the drawings are equal to profit. Right? Interest on capital is to be allowed at 11%. So interest on capital will be what? 11% of this amount or 11 upon 100 into 200,000. 11 upon 100 into 1,50,000. So, 
this will be how? 22,000 this will be how much? 16,000 500 right? and that's the answer the only different thing was that instead of opening you were given the closing capital so we worked our way backward and found out what is the opening capital right 